Hi, I'm Nick Quas from Korg USA here at Sam Ash with the new ARP Odyssey module in a revision one color scheme and the Korg SQ1 sequencer. Now the ARP Odyssey module is sonically identical to Korg's ARP Odyssey keyboard. However, the module foregoes the keyboard to save important desk real estate for you producers who control your synths with a DAW or a workstation keyboard. The ARP Odyssey module also features the same CV gate and trigger inputs that the original ARP Odyssey keyboard had, as well as MIDI and a five channel dip switch on the back of the unit that allows you to not only switch the MIDI channel, but also enable auto shut off. So let's go really deep into the modulation possibilities allowed by this classic synth's amazing architecture. I'm sequencing with a Korg SQ-1 using step jump to allow me to play the SQ-1 almost like a keyboard. I have oscillator one on the ARP module tuned about a quarter of the way up. I also have the decay and the release on the envelope of the ARP module turned up a little bit so that I have sort of a trailing off note. Then I can modulate the filter to get some of that fat resonance involved. The cool thing about the ARP Odyssey module, as well as Korg's ARP Odyssey keyboard, is that all three filter revisions from the original lifetime of the ARP Odyssey are included on every unit. This is revision one. This is revision two. And this is revision three. So let's run a sequence through this thing and see what it can really do. So that's just a little bit of the sonic capabilities of the ARP Odyssey module. If you're interested in picking up one of these ARP Odyssey modules, stop on by to your local Sam Ash. And as always, thanks so much for watching.